So what I decided to do was create a set of layer styles just in case you wanted to download those and use this with different styles of text or with different objects. Now I've done this in the past where I have uh, layer styles available and I've gotten a lot of questions about well, it only works with a specific size of text or a specific size of document. So what I want to do in this video is show you first how to save your own layer styles and then second, how to scale them in order to use them with different size documents. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this. So I've already saved uh, a lot of these layer styles here. So pretty much all of these right here are this layer style. I'm just going to go through the process one more time and then I'm going to show you how I apply those layer styles. I'm going to go ahead and use this base layer as my example. I'm going to make sure that I'm on the actual object right here and not on the mask. So we're going to make sure we're here. Double click on the layer styles and you can see that we have tons of different settings here for all of the different elements that we have associated with this layer. So if I decide that I want to make this again, but I want to use different lettering, what I can do is come into this layer style and choose new style. And I'm just going to call this gold example. Okay, and I just added that to my layer style. So I'm gonna come over to my little FX right here. And you can see that it just added that gold base. Okay, so now that we've added that to our layers, I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. Before I move on, I wanna show you the size of this document. So we're gonna come over to the image and you can see that this is a 2000 pixel document by 1200 pixels. So we'll cancel that and I also want to show you the text size as well. Our text here is 685 and we have tracking of 25 here. So this is just the basic information about the font that we're using and the size of our font. So we're going to come over to a new document. This new document is going to be half the size of the document I just showed you. I'm going to go back in here and you can see it is 1000 by 600 so basically half the size so i'm going to cancel that and i'm going to go ahead and add some text here and just put this here in the middle um, this the text size doesn't really matter but i'm still going to bring this up and it's probably going to be roughly half the size I'm going to leave this at 320 pixels and we'll leave the tracking alone. I just want to call attention to this, this 320 pixel uh, number right here. That number is going to be different for any font that you use. So if I come and try to use this font there, you can see how much bigger that is at 320 pixels. This one's much smaller, this one, um, and you can see you know, it's, it's all based on the text that you're using. So this is not the number that we're worried about. The number that we're worried about is the size of the document. So right now we have our document at 50%. So that's going to give us a ballpark of how much we're going to have to scale our image. But even that is not necessary because you can eyeball this anyway. Uh, I have this text layer selected and I'm going to come over to my styles here. By the way, if you do not have styles, uh, you can find it here under window and then just click on styles. So I'm going to click right here on this style that we just created. So we called it gold base example and I'm going to click on that. So this style right here is what we're trying to get and clearly that's not what we got here because this document is half the size. So what we're going to have to do is come over to the layer and then come over to the FX icon here, right click and then choose scale effects. We're going to start with the scale of 50% because this document is 50%. So that's pretty close. 
but the best thing to do here is just to use this slider to move it up and down until you get exactly what you're looking for. So I think maybe somewhere about 40%. Okay, so that looks okay. So we scaled it to about 40% and it's, I'm gonna click okay, and it's very close to what we have here. Now I can duplicate this. Now keep in mind, this is a tutorial that took a really long time to do. This was about, this is almost a 20 minute tutorial. So it was very, very long. Um, and we're getting this done in a matter of seconds actually. So I have that base here. I'm gonna add that melting top to it, which is this one right here. This is the drip. And again, I'm coming in here to the FX, right click, scale effects, and I'm gonna scale it to 40%. Then I'll click okay. Go ahead and add that mask in with the hard round brush. Make sure I'm in there with that hard round brush. Make sure I'm on the mask itself, and then I can bring up my brush size, remove all of that, X to get my white, bring my brush size back down, and I'm gonna get the same effect, but I didn't have to do uh, all of the adjustments that, that I had to do before. So this is gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna help you when you're using very specific styles for different types of text or different objects. If you have a campaign or something where you're using a very specific style but you have a lot of different messages, saving something like this, like your layer styles for that text effect or your objects or whatever you're using it for is gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, so that was pretty quick and painless. I just wanted to show you how to do that. I also wanted to let you know that this text effect right here is gonna be available as a free download on my website so you can grab that there at prettywebs.com and apply it to your own text. So you don't have to go through the entire tutorial if you don't want to. If you're trying to learn a lot more about Photoshop and get comfortable with it, then definitely go through those tutorials because that's what's gonna help you. So this style pack is gonna come with three layer styles. Uh, which is the base text, the drip text, and the wick. And as a bonus for those of you who are already on my email list, look out sometime in November, I'm gonna be sending out an email to another set of uh, styles for this, which are gonna be including a whole bunch of different colors. So right now, this one is gonna be available to everybody, the butter gold. And let me turn that off and turn these colors on. Uh, so that I can show you these. So for the email list, you guys are also gonna get this purple color. Uh, I'm gonna give you a white one, a deep red, and a black one. And also I forgot to mention, I'm gonna, I'm also gonna give you this PSD file for, with this butter gold as well so that you can have this, uh, this wick. So you can easily copy uh, this wick. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna grab this and bring it over here to this text. Let me go ahead and change the background color. Okay, so how you would do that is you'd open up this PSD document. You'd come up to one of the wicks here, right click, duplicate this layer, and I'm gonna duplicate it into my untitled one, which is the one that we were just working in and I'm gonna click OK. Now when I go back to this, you can see that I have that wick. Of course, it's really big because it was in a larger document, but we can adjust and resize that. I'm gonna go ahead and add that here or just leave it at that size if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller. And of course, you'd come in to the effects, right click, scale the effect, and then bring that down. So check out the description below for a link to grab this butter gold layer style with the PSD document. And for those of you on my email list, look out for the colors as well. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Until next time, thanks for watching.